10 lakh miles away there are three rockets okay there are three spaceships okay and one spaceship is moving toward the source of light ma'am that is the problem that is the problem according to special relativity all three rockets are going that is the thing i i don't know what, why people are not questioning this postulate i don't know the scientists all around the world mm. they think that physics is still incomplete yeah and you know classical theory classical mm. mechanics theory and then quantum mechanics theory they are not fitting with each yeah. other yeah so why do you think they are not fitting to each other and where is like as for you it's lacking uh, what's the reason behind it uh, according to me okay oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. see see the the first thing we need to understand is special relativity or we can say theory of relativity yeah and quantum mechanics are two of the fundamentals of the modern physics yeah they are but yeah. the problem is the fundamentals of quantum mechanics doesn't fit with doesn't the doesn't fit at all with the fundamentals classical of mechanics. classical mechanics that is theory of relativity yeah. okay one explains the like bigger things one explains the subatomic things but they their fundamentals doesn't fit with each other so according to me what i feel is lacking or what i feel is the problem is the root root which root see i am very much unsatisfied i am very much unsatisfied with the postulates of special relativity there are two postulates right yeah there are two postulates the second one so you are unsatisfied means like you think there's a problem in there or yeah i think that and i'll try to try to explain you why i think that and you judge me okay 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 sure sure so the second postulate of special relativity says that speed of light is constant whatever be the speed of the source source of light or the speed of the observer yeah okay yeah so what this means is like there's a bike there's a bike whose headlight is on and it is moving toward you okay yeah toward you it is not going to hit you okay <laughs> okay okay man uh, and the bike is approaching you yeah the bike so, is approaching yeah you. so so the source of light is appro- approaching you right yeah yeah so the postulate says that even if the source is approaching you or moving away from you the speed of light the speed of light once emitted from the source mm. doesn't vary it remains constant so what is the time that it is going to take to reach to me is also like it, constant whatever the yeah, speed it, is yeah it doesn't depend on the speed of the motorbike okay so if even if it's going at like 60 km per hour or yeah, it's no like problem. 120 km per hour even if it same. is like how how is that possible man like there are two speeds that no, are going to reach in the same see, time it's, it's a normal thing it's it's not like it's an it's not a thing to debate because it it works with all different kind of waves okay like we have we know the doppler effect yeah. uh, the frequency changes yeah. the frequency changes but the speed doesn't okay so it is, there's no problem with the source moving toward the uh, moving toward the observer and the speed not varying it's normal i'm satisfied okay. with that okay but the second thing is even if you move toward the motorbike okay Okay so motorbike is coming and then I am also moving Even if the mo- motorbike is at rest or moving toward you leave it In what speed in what speed I am like running I am running see, there Even if you approach this the motorbike the source of light like mm-hmm. even if you are at speed close to the speed of light at like lakhs of kilometer per hour okay then So you means like 1 lakh kilometer per hour so I am like running approaching yeah approaching towards the towards light the, oh my god what would I, i'm just imagining like what would have happened to me when i'm running like that's a different story yeah, yeah that's a different story <laughs> so know. so the thing is the problem arise here i, I always so what happens like if e- i'm running even if you are moving toward the source at 1 lakh kilometer per second at any speed 
Let's the light, the, the, the speed of light, the speed of light doesn't vary. So, so to explain this in more detail, I, I'll give you a good example, a race, okay? Okay. So, there are like three sources of light, okay? Three One, of light. two, and three. Okay. And like 10 lakh kilometers away, or like 10 lakh miles away, there are three rockets, okay? There are three spaceships. Okay. And one spaceship is moving toward the source of light at 90% of speed of light. Okay, so there are like three rockets mm -hmm. and then at the 10 lakh kilometer per second here, there's a source of light. Yeah, 10 lakh kilometer away, there, yeah. there are three sources of light. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. and the upper one, the first one is moving toward the source. Yeah. Moving toward the source at the speed of 90% of the speed of light. Okay, it's like super fast. Okay, and 90 percent of the speed of light. Okay, the second one, it. the second one, the second rocket is like it's not moving at all. Oh, second rocket is not it's, moving. It is at all. rest. Okay, okay, okay. And the third one, the lower one. Are they in the straight line? Yeah, yeah. yeah the here the line. sources of light are, are in straight line, and here the rockets are kept in the straight line. Okay, okay. okay. And the third rocket, third rocket, move away from the source. Okay, so third rocket is like, and in what speed? In what speed is it? The same speed, the speed 90% like of, 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 of speed of light. Okay, now I'll ask you a question. I, I think that they're never going to meet, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. That. So I'll ask you a question and to the viewers as well. So I'll do a countdown of three, two, and one. Okay. And so it's like a race. Yeah, it's like a race. And the race between three rockets, mm. who reaches the light first? Because as soon as we put on the source of light, photon will move at this at like speed of light toward the rocket yeah. okay so as mean like as soon as you do this the light is emitted and then the race is emitted race at the is same started. time yeah yeah at the same time at right? the same time okay, okay. Got it. you're getting it yeah so the race is about which rocket which rocket will strike the photon the light which rocket will strike the light first first you you first understand the circumstance yeah, 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 yeah. and make a decision okay now three Two, one, boom! All these three are like switched on. See, man, first I'll, I want to tell you one thing. Okay. Those three rockets, they're never going to see each other. First is <laughs> no, that thing. <laughs> and then the second thing is like the one yeah. that is moving at 90% of the first rocket yeah. that is moving at 90% of speed of light and towards the observer, not to, towards the source. The observer of light. Or, towards yeah, the source. Yeah, towards the source. Towards the source. Yeah, yeah. towards the source is going to reach first okay. as per me and not just as per you as per the intuition the preconceived notion of physics that we have yeah. that that is building us in our like consciousness yeah, sure, sure going to. so yes. everyone not everyone most of the people will say will say that the first rocket which is moving toward the source of light is going to yeah. meet the photon yeah, first sure, right sure. The, the third one will never meet man that is the problem that is the problem. According to special relativity, all three rockets are going to meet the photon at the same time. Man, man. So even if it's like going away, or maybe what if like it's going upwards, man? If it changes the direction, it's never going to meet, bro. And just let, let let's keep them in the straight straight line. Okay. So, so even if least, it's go, going away, yeah, then it's going to meet. Yeah. Oh man, that's crazy. And like all of the fundamentals and all of the physics, all of the theories, they build us in this on this concept. On this concept, man. That is the thing. I, I don't know what, why people are not questioning this postulate. I don't know. And yeah, th there is no, there is no any experiments that has proven this concept or this postulate why, wrong. Why people are not, uh, uh, why like they are not, some. Because it is just because we don't have any other alternatives. We don't have any experiments that can prove this thing wrong. It's not. Maybe we don't have a better theory. Yeah, and, and we don't have any experiments that even prove this right. It's a postulate. It's an assumption. Are scientists trying to find a new direction to this? Maybe. Yeah. But that I will like that. kill the complete physics, man. Yeah. It's like turning down the road. Yeah. Just, just imagine. We are, we are just. We are not even questioning this concept. At least stand up and ask some questions, right? At least, yeah. yeah. At least, if if you are not finding the way, at least try to find it. Yeah. 
Yeah. We've got to find some way because the so whole physics is yeah, like based and, on this and concept. And see, I'm waiting for two of the things, okay? Uh, either of two things. One, a theory, a theory that will combine, that will explain all the things that relativity explains and doesn't contradict with quantum mechanics. But not only you, man, all of the scientists from two, worlds are waiting for this. And number two, number yeah. two is, I'm waiting for an experiment that either prove this postulate right or wrong. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh, and maybe right any, or wrong. Yeah, at least prove it right, oh. man. And also prove it wrong, maybe. Yeah. Can see, we prove it wrong? See, most of the people, most of the people have uh, like are very confident saying that Michelson Morley experiment proved this right. There are yeah. there are a lot of people who claim that Michelson Morley experiment prove this concept, prove this postulate completely right. But but it's it's not a solid it's not a solid evidence, okay? Because it was done it was not not done for that purpose. And one more thing. One more thing. Okay, okay, one if, more thing. If you say if you say that Michelson Morley's experiment proved this concept right, then I have a question for you. Like we till date don't have any way, any way to measure the speed of light one way. Oh, there so whatever we are measuring is like, it's, two like, way. it's actually six kilometers. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, if six I, lakh I, kilometers per second, right? Yeah, two way. We, so, we just, and then we are dividing it by two. Yeah, dividing it by two. We have no, no any experiment. So you should to clarify. Let me let me just say it. Okay, let, let me let me say it, please. Okay. Because we we don't have any experiment existing in this universe, any observation, any way of thinking that can prove, that can measure the speed of light one way. And if anyone are confused about this. Uh, I have a video. I, I'll try to put the, in the link. Veritasium has explained it so well. And if we don't have any measurement of one-way speed of light, then how can we claim that this postulate is 100% so correct? Uh, they have calculated the speed like they did some they threw up some photon and then they and yeah. they have calculated when it come back yeah. and divided by two. Yeah, we don't. So have as for you, do you think like this could vary? Yeah, man. There can be a possibility that. One way speed is, is like not three lakh. Is, is like six lakh kilometer per hour, okay, and the returning back is instantaneous. Even this can be possible. Oh man, and maybe like four lakhs and two lakhs. Yeah, yeah. So and it's just a combination of six lakhs, and yeah, then they are divided and, by and, two. Yeah, and, and this is the thing that haunts me always. Uh, I want a solid evidence to prove this theory correct or find a way out you know find yeah. a find a way that that can like bring things together i hope things are falling wanna, apart man i want to know like what's the one way speed of light there yeah. could be a chance that please, it please, can be I, I request everyone per i request everyone who is watching this video please do watch the veritation video and once you watch that video everything is going to be crystal clear right yeah. So yeah, let's let's so wrap it, it up. It means like it could be three lakhs kilometer per second, yeah. but there are a lot of chances that it could not be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We don't have anything to prove it right, or anything to prove it wrong as well. So that is we are we are like kind of pendulum stays, and uh, let's see if if quantum mechanics like its fundamental fundamentals overtake the relativity thing, or the relativity will kind of cover that thing let's see what happens okay so yeah i hope i hope you guys like loved it thank you and so much for watching uh, you you i i've got to thank you man it's, it was a very wonderful question i always like i love to talk about these things yeah man maybe we'll talk with something else uh, yeah i'll ask you some yeah. deeper question than this in the oh, other th thank you for the question okay, man so thank bye you for bye the guys, question bye guys, bye. bye guys